My BFI player choice this week is the third feature from path-breaking writer-director Anne-Marie Jasser, which, like its predecessors, Salt of This Sea and When I Saw You, was the Palestinian entry for the Foreign Language Film Oscar. It's a poignant, bittersweet comedy of estrangement and identity in which a traditional father and his hipster son, played by real-life father and son Mohammed and Sali Bakri, travel around Nazareth, fulfilling an ancient ritual while arguing about the state of the modern world. Waji. I'm going to go to Shani. Shani, that's all right. Yeah, this is the Shabbat. No, it's the Shabbat. I'm going to go to the Shabbat. What do they do in the Arab school? It's the Shabbat. You're going to go to the Shabbat. I don't remember when I came here. I think I'm going to go to the Shabbat. 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 نادي سينمائي كل افلام كانت سياسيه وتحريض يلا يلا على السريع خليك بالسياره انا بطلع لا ولا يمكن يعني خلاص هو السبب انك بعتني برا وهو السبب اللي جابوني على التحقيق مستحيل اعز مع عارس اختي School teacher Abu Shadi is dotingly proud of his daughter Amal who's about to get married it is Abu Shadi's duty the wajib of the title to ensure that the wedding invitations are hand delivered to each and every guest so Amal's brother, who now lives a cosmopolitan life in Italy, has come home to help. Driving from house to house, the pair present a united front, with father proving a smiling master of diplomacy with all of those whom he visits. Yet alone in the car, the pair surreptitiously squabble, petty grievances and ancient hurts rising to the surface. Family makes you crazy, Jasser has said, and it's a truism which is played out in this minutely observed study of conflicting loyalties. At the heart of the piece is a simple and universal conundrum, the tension between pursuing your dreams or remaining committed to your roots, with politics providing the background noise. Jasser reveals complex intertwining backstories through apparently incidental interaction, laying bare the raw nerves beneath the polite smiles. There's plenty of laughter too, from a running gag about the awfulness of a wedding singer to a deadpan slapstick interlude involving a pet bird and an injured finger. Antoine Everlay's handheld camera captures the subtle nuances of comedy and tragedy alike, keeping us close to the protagonists without ever feeling intrusive. The result is a film of surprising warmth and generosity, which takes a situation that's riven with conflict and discord and turns it into a melancholy song of resolution. Don't worry.